Over here in the upper left with the best endgame Zerg you could ask for. He is... Master. Azubu Symbol. And his opponent, he's been having a hard time so far in this tournament, but today he's really bringing his A-game. His idea is... Master. SK Telecom T1 Parking. All right. By the way, before, uh, before anything picks up, big cheers to our audience. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. And thank you guys for coming out here. Yeah. This is really fun. You might be wondering where the players are at. They're at the other studio. You just get us today. <laughs> the players are invisible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is uh, actually an on game net uh, tournament that we are casting here. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of different. It's kind of weird, to be honest, that I get to actually see the people in the studio yeah. <laughs> yeah. when I'm casting the game. So just pretend they're all wearing underwear. I pretend they're all naked. <laughs> I hope they're all wearing underwear, actually, now that I say that. Uh, <laughs> So, um, now uh, we're going to see the Zerg just go ahead and expand here. There's a high chance Protoss is going to do a fast expand build, too. Yeah, one base builds don't really exist uh, very much anymore. It's very, very rare to see one. Well, pretty uh, pretty standard stuff, Tasteless. So, Artos is talking to me about something. Maybe we got some downtime here. Well, uh... You, you know. playing any good games? Yes. Oh my god. This game called StarCraft Heart of the Swarm. No. Yeah. I've heard of really that. Nice. You should give it a try. I've heard of that. <laughs> you should give it a try, Taste. I'm like, is that the game with Luke Skywalker? You're yes. like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. I um I think I saw somebody come into our studio actually with a Mega Man shirt on. Am I making this up? You have a Mega Man shirt on? That oh, is sick. Mega Man, right? Yeah, I, I just beat I just beat Mega Man too. Yeah. Like just beat that. Took you long enough. I beat that like actually 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I got to that uh, part in the with the boss, one of the boss fights, where uh, you have to use Crash Man's bombs to, to mm -hmm. blow up the little lasers. And I don't know. I guess like I something happened. Like Grandma had my supper ready or something, and uh -huh. I had to turn off the Nintendo, and I never got past it until like a week ago. So, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. And I, I have to call it supper because that's how grandmas and grandpas talk. They have, yeah. they have supper. supper. Yeah. That's so, actually, I never thought of it that way. That's that is true. true. Yeah. They do, they do call it's it supper. how old people call it. Yeah. yeah. I don't really call it dinner nowadays, but I did call it supper because I lived with my grandmother. Yeah, for a long exactly. Time. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Wow. I'm good at the grandma. I, I, know, I know the grandma like dialect. I'm, I, <laughs> you speak grandma. I speak, <laughs> speak grandmanese. <laughs> so we have three bases now. Um, again, this is all very orthodox stuff. Mm hmm. So um, we'll have to wait and see. The core is now done, so this is where we can start to have the builds branch out a little bit. Yeah, and he actually makes a uh, sentry right away before any gateways, uh, before really anything. And that's, that is interesting to me, because you don't normally see the sentry made like right there. So we'll see what he throws up here in a minute. Yeah. I'm thinking it's actually going to be some gateways, like to throw up two gates right now. He might do some harass early on. He might, yeah. You might try a little three gateway push. Well, you don't make the century. Oh no, he, he goes Stargate again. Okay, okay. You know, one thing you got to keep in mind is that um, Harding definitely knows what he's got himself into by this game going to game number three, because this is going to be a very good map for uh, for Symbol. Yeah, but at the same time, you do have to say that uh, a Protoss player on this map can easily do a lot at once. You know, they can, yeah, they that's can very up, true. They can take a third base very quickly themselves, and it's it's very comfortable. Yes. Yeah, at least until the Supreme Light game, this map is extremely comfortable for Protoss for Zerg. Yeah, and it's it's funny when you get on with some of these maps uh, where you can acquire additional bases really easily. How many things you can actually do and get away with at once compared mm -hmm. to some of these maps where, like, like Star Station, where it's just actually very hard to even hold the third base. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the cool thing about it, you know, you can actually do something like a Stargate into a Robo teching to Colossus while getting a Twilight in your third base all Yeah, you can gate. actually and do that stuff. Unless they did you like have a basically very, no army. <laughs> yeah, unless they did a very dedicated attack, like a Roachling, a all quick in. one, yeah. then you basically hold whatever's coming at you. But Symbol here is actually, uh, despite going three bases, which is pretty normal, gotten really quick speed and is making 12 lings. Yeah, so that's interesting. I think those 12 lings are purely to deny uh, the third base. Yeah, and that's something you could definitely do. You know, especially um, when it comes to warping in a Nexus, if you only have like a Zealot and a few sentries, there's really no way to, for, them, for you to stop them from making the Nexus cancel. Mm -hmm. You know? 
And, and you, uh, you know, the way that Protosses normally take thirds here is they just kind of send the probe into the third base area, like clear it with Mothership Core or something, but yeah. uh, that's not going to be doable with 12 speedlings around. Yeah, exactly. That's too many units, that, and the damage output is too high. Mm -hmm. So the creep is um, just getting pushed forward now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, again, we're in a very standard game right now. The Forge is about to finish, so we'll start upgrading that right away. Right, and uh, the Robo is going to be done pretty quick here. He's forced those six spores upon uh, Symbol. You know, this actually, based upon the, the speed of that Robo, and wait a minute, that is, that's Phoenix number five, so... Hmm, now I guess this isn't probably going to be an all-in with Colossus and Immortal, but it could be. Yeah, it's still an option. Yeah. It looks like they are going to get that uh, that queen. That's so good to get that queen early on. Mm -hmm. He does lose the phoenix, but still, that's you know denying the larva inject, messing with symbols tempo. Mm -hmm. And instant colossus tech should probably end up being a third base coming up. Yeah, he's even killing the rocks right now. Yeah, but this is one of these games where neither uh, player can really attack into the other one. They can do a little harasses and stuff, but. Mm. Uh, they can't really attack uh, into each other because there's such a defender's advantage on this map. Yeah. Now, oh, wow, 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 wow. He was actually, he was getting 1-1 one, one for Zerglings and thrown up a Baneling Nest. So I'm like, ooh, this is going to be cool, Zergling, Baneling. You don't see that at the top level all that much. Yeah. But he canceled plus one melee and got plus after one a little bit and got plus range. one range with a Roach Warren. So it looks like he scouted something that has changed his mind here. That's good. That really goes to show that Symbol has a lot of different triggers. Mm -hmm. that, uh, if he sees an, his opponent doing something, up, oh, okay. Adjust this, you know, yeah. open up the dashboard, basically, turn a few dials, uh, and tweak his build a little bit. Definitely something you do need to do. Some nice uh, force fields. It's going to allow him to get those rocks down without any problem. And the Ling's just poking in here. See if there's any other intel they can get. These are the destructible rocks that actually, when you break them, it closes this area off. Mm -hmm. That's why this third base is so easy to get on this map, is for this exact reason. Yeah. Well, that third base is coming up, and with good speed as well. You know, he started that around 10-ish, uh, maybe a little bit before. And look at this. He's actually... I guess he did go up to three gates because he wanted to play safe. But he's, he's getting the Twilight, he's getting the third base, upgrades, Colossus. He's kind of doing everything at once. Yeah. A slightly safer than what some people try on this map. So the Phoenixes are just going to continue to fly around, trying to deny Overlords, um, take out anything that's going to be the Watchtowers here. Um, yeah, Spire Infestation Pit mm -hmm. coming up here. Going into the uh, the late game here. Yeah, well, we have the fourth base coming up for Symbol. You know, the one thing I do want to say about Symbol's play so far in the series, uh, his creep spread hasn't been quite up to what I would want. You know, that's actually a really good point. In, and in the last two you know, games, yeah, the creep spread was not that far out there. Especially on the Star Station game, like if you're going Swarm Host, creep spread has to be one of your number one priorities. Oh, wow, he's making four queens right now and seven Swarm Hosts. Okay, there it is. Well, so, that's going to be really good for the transfuses on the uh, the Swarm Hosts yeah, if he does get attacked. Just the kind of the tanking of the queens. They have good anti-air range to pick off observers. And yeah. as I was mentioning, Tasteless, like the... Creep spread. The more creep you have, your swarmos become exponentially more powerful because yeah. the locusts get everywhere further and yeah, faster. Yeah, when you think of actually the length, the distance that yeah. locusts can travel on creep, it's, it's insane. Yeah. So as much creep spread as you can get, that is going to be very, very important. All right. So uh, these swarm hosts are out, and this is what's going to make it basically not possible for Protoss to get in there. We'll see, though. I mean, if the swarm hosts get out of position, force field actually one of the the, the best things against. Uh, the swarm host. Mm. But look at this. Oh my god, such a good move. He's just gonna snipe this fourth does he have base. The <laughs> yeah, he does. Me. Yeah, he does a motion court with it. So this is there's no way for Symbol to stop this. His fourth base yeah. is gone. It's dead. And this is a really nice move because he just got him out of position, walked up there, took that base yeah. out. He actually found a, a little window where, you know, Symbol was being a little tiny bit too greedy. Yeah. You know, he's going into Swarmos and waiting well, for his Spire to finish to get Corruptors. You know, you know what he did, actually, was really nice about that? He had those Phoenixes out there. He made sure that the Zerg knew at the last possible second mm. that his army was out there. Yeah. Because otherwise, I mean, Very Simple just true. wouldn't have let that happen, but he caught him out of position. Mm -hmm. It was such good play. Really, really impressive. <laughs> that was kind of a funny <laughs> little moment right yeah, there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It looks like Zerg's now going to go and try to secure this center location because he needs to get that fourth base up and running. He's now expanding to the bottom left here. Yep. And uh, you know what? The Mothership Core parting accidentally left over at the uh, the fourth base location it, for it's, Symbol. It's just floating there, too. Yeah. So 
That's kind of weird. You know, you normally do have it on a different hotkey because you, you're you very careful with a mothership core. So I think that's just what happened is he did not bring it back or doesn't but you know, have it on follow. One of the problems with that is if this army gets uh, trapped here, mm -hmm. he can't recall. Yeah, and he doesn't have so any that's... time warps either, which can yeah. be an issue. So, um, the Swarm host now pushing forward here. They're going to try to chisel their way through into the third base. Meanwhile, Party now taking a fourth in the center right. Yeah. So, looking pretty good for Parting so far, I have to say. Even though there is that supply lead and it is a scary composition from Symbol, uh, Parting is doing a great job with the double robo. He's getting multiple warp prisms out. His charge upgrade's almost done. Oh, yeah. His harassment is going to be a lot and, better on this map. And this map, it's a lot harder to stop the warp prism harass. Yeah. Because there's a lot yeah. more different angles you can come into attack. It looks like we're going to see that beginning right now. Ooh, this is a good move. But we already have some spines there. He knows that something like this is going to come. The yeah. thing is, does he have enough? Yeah, and so now he's going to come in here and do a sizable amount of damage. Meanwhile, a party pushing forward, he might be able to get all the way to where those uh, the swarm hosts actually are, from where the locusts are spawning. Is War Prism actually going to get out of there? <laughs> yeah, don't pick up those zealots. And look at this, pushing back the creep, such an important thing to do against swarm host play. Throws up those force fields, doesn't want to take additional damage from these locusts. And, you know, Parting is he's doing everything right here. All right, he's getting closer. The locusts have not spawned just yet. Uh, but he goes ahead and recalls out. Good thing, by the way, his mothership was back with that army now. Mm -hmm. A very good recall. And in the meantime, there is still a little bit of harassment going on in the main base of Symbol. Has to be very, very annoying. All right, he's getting some spines up there as well. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, what the Zerg uh, wants to do here is just make sure there are spine crawlers anywhere that a mm -hmm. warp prism can harass at. Yeah. And that's when the Zerg has the freedom to move around the map, continue to push forward, and try to pressure these uh, expansions like we're seeing right now. Yeah. You know, right now we're about to have 25 Corruptors out. And with 25 Corruptors, basically parting, he has to get this storm before any more engagements. If he tries another engagement, he'll lose every Colossus, all the Phoenixes, his Observers, and the Mothership Corps. And that's like, that's going to slow him down too much. All right, uh, warping in a bunch more Zealots here. He will get these out before the uh, Warp Prism is taken out. Uh, and there might not be enough Spine Crawlers here to protect this. Ooh, and in the meantime, he does have to warp. Uh, he just had to recall back home Tasteless because his army was under attack. Did lose his observers and whatnot, so he has to be very, very careful about this because Symbol is coming forward. And I love this. The Overlord's now dropping creep right here. Look how much faster those locusts are on that creep. Uh, now, if he can get into this location over here at the second base, he can end up taking out, uh, for instance, the two Robos, um, the, the Forge, everything. It's going to be huge. And that'll give him access to the main. And if he gets there, then he's going to get the gateways. And there's really nothing um, that the Protoss can do. So party in a very bad position right now. Look at this. The claw side being picked off once again. A good size storm on those Corruptors. But is it too little, too late? Yeah, I, I love these flying the Corruptors exactly over the Stalkers. Yeah. So that that way there's no way that he can utilize Storm without melting his own Stalkers. Yeah. We even saw him try to blink away and he moved him under there again. Beautiful moves. But it looks like Symbol's Swarmos might be a little bit too strong here, Tasteless. Well, he's got four Observers out, but you know, with the number of corruptors he has, that could die immediately. Mm. No parting. Uh, he's done a pretty good job so far, but yeah, he's about to pop out more. A oh, lot of these going. links, oh. so good here. Perfect and, you know, timing. From, from here, it doesn't even really matter what angle symbol attacks. Mm -hmm. and he could choose to take out this expansion over here. This he being hit by the locust now. He can go uh, towards the second base. He can even go towards the third base if he wants. Yeah. And with 13 corruptors more, uh, still sitting here rather. Right. The, the you know how is he going to get enough claw sci out to have enough splash to actually eat through these locusts and links? And look at this. There's not really a lot of locations that the stalkers can even blink at uh, with these links spilling in here now. And I love what he's doing. He waits until right before the locusts are going to burn out. He runs out. Mm -hmm. Uh, so he keeps his links intact, and then when they spawn again, he sends the links in there first. So he's letting the locust tank the damage. Yeah, and look at that. He, he does it once again. Just really great micro. This is the best locusts. swarm host play I've seen, actually. Yeah, as far as aggressive he, swarm host play He knows goes. how to actually micro the locust and the swarm host. It's mm -hmm. really good. It's definitely something uh, Zerg should be working on, Tasteless. You can see just the, the absolute power of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, and now the Corruptor is immediately going to take out that. Did he actually take out the Observers, by the way? I don't see them here. Uh, yeah, there's one Observer left on the map. Okay, I believe sure that's, that's actually behind. Uh, it's actually above the Swarm Hosts. Uh, like okay. one screen up from what we just had. Makes sense. I uh, have to hide it sometimes in plain view, Tasteless. Uh, it's yeah. hard to keep those things alive right now. And with seven Broodlords now, on the way. Now, Sogger's coming Ooh. down here now and hitting uh, the Swarm Hosts here. 
And actually almost taking out all those Broodlords that we're making right now. He lost his Observer, though. And this did. is a huge issue. All right, he's going to try to take out these uh, Corruptors again. Second time he's forced to cancel there. Mm. But once those Broodlords come out, that combined yeah. uh, with, the, with the Locust, there's really not I mean, much you can do. When you have one guy that has an army that constantly rep replenishes and is free yeah. and can also make other attacking stuff, and the other guy... I guess he has shields going for him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's not much he can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that should be the uh, beginning of the end. Well, he's picking off as many Cryptors as possible, but uh, does any of this matter? Some nice size storms Look at how fast this stuff actually dies. Oh, God. <laughs> this is absolutely brutal, Tasteless. I think this is just about the last stand for this, Party. This should be uh, when he taps out. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, Party's been doing a great job, by the way, of staying alive. Yeah. Of not being eliminated here. Yeah, this is... A little bit, a little bit too scary for most quad officers. Yeah, but no kidding. He tries his best, tasteless. It's see, just not going to work this time. With the locusts and the and the brooding, there's not even. It's really, it's hard for the uh, stalkers to even get the surface area to actually get yeah. in in physical range. They of can't being able move. To hit. They can't move. Yeah. Well, you know he's doing the four stalker counterattack at 22 minutes. Yeah. But you know the four stalker counterattack at the 22 minute marker doesn't work mm -hmm. in the games I've casted so far. So. Maybe he'll get those four stalkers and destroy all of Symbol's buildings before uh, he's wiped out. That could happen, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe. If he blinked him just right against the spine crawlers. Yeah, and yeah. also uh, <laughs> Symbol sent all his stuff to the bottom left of the map. Yes. <laughs> uh, that could help as well. But this is really, I think Parking's just kind of coming to terms. I think he's digesting his loss yeah. here. Just, I love he these spore crawlers, by the way, actually, over the uh, swarm host. Really There's yeah. GG. Make it even harder for those observers. Yeah. You know what? It was a really good play by both sides. Uh, I think Party made one serious mistake because he was actually, I feel, in a lead for a bit there. But yeah. when there were 25 Corruptors out, I think he needed to sit back ultra defensively until he had Psystorm ready. Yeah, I, I got to agree with you. I think there was a window in there where if he had had to recall and then walked out and lost a couple more while going down the ramp before the storm's ready, I think he may have been able to break everything. Yeah, I, I got to agree with that. Uh, Parting not looking happy right now. Yeah. Well, he's that was a pretty uh, impressive play by Symbol. I mean, he Parting was actually outplayed there. Mm -hmm. There wasn't one of these silly build order losses or oh no, he accidentally lost that warp prism. Had he gotten that up, he would have won. You know, he was totally outmaneuvered there. And he does look pretty crushed, tasteless. And being O2 in the group, the odds of him going up are like almost very narrow. low. Uh, yes. And you know what? I, the thing is, yeah, he's the world champion. And yeah, he's he's done fantastically in a lot of different tournaments. Yeah, and won a lot of money and all that. But you can't really argue that you're the best in the world if you haven't won a Star League. That is true. You haven't won a Code S or a Star League, you know, a, a top 32 of Korea tournament. Then, I mean, you just you don't have any claim. That it, you're right. Well, Harding has lost. If you just now join us, uh, one two. Symbol. It's a good match. The winner, it was great. Nice. Actually, tell your friends to check out those games. We're going to take a short break, and uh, when we come back, we're going to go to our next best of three. Stay tuned.